So guys, what's going on? It's Curtis Sam's here back in a brand new video on this channel and today Who are we playing today? It's the third game of the season. It's our second home game of the season as well and Who is it against? Cardiff City of all teams are arch enemies Now Cardiff, they have lost their first two games of the season Which is a bit of a worry for me to be honest with you because you know what we're like against teams who are on poor form but they got battered 5-0 by Burnley and they lost 2-0 to Sunderland. Well, in our last two games, we were on a bit of a mixed form. We lost 1-0 to Middlesbrough and we beat Preston 3-0 on our last game. Now, that performance against Preston was absolutely unbelievable. Got to say, 3-0 win and I'm hoping more of the same today, please. Obviously, um, it's a bit tough to predict in a minute. I think it'll be a very close game, if I'm honest with you, because it's only third game of the season. I know on paper you're probably thinking we are definitely favourites. I mean, well, we're definitely favourites on paper, but it's all about the game, really. So we have to see what happens. Anything can happen in football. If I'm also and Cardiff are due to get something, aren't they? But anyway, let's get down there. Have a Webstone's breakfast. Have some beers before the game. And hopefully, history repeats itself with another win for the Swans. And hopefully, not revenge and redemption for the Bluebirds and Errol Bullets. But of course, as I was saying, knowing what the Swans are like against teams on poor forms and Cardiff on zero points so far this season, the first two games, it's inevitable what will happen, isn't it? It's absolutely inevitable, which I hope does not happen. Come on, you Swans, do not let me down. Do it. <laughs> All right, so we're outside the stadium now. I had a lovely Welsh Swans breakfast, had a few points down the and the team news is out now. We made an entry sign from the team that started the 3 0 victory against Preston, where in goal got Lawrence Vigaroo. Left back Josh Tymer, centre backs are Harry Darling, Ben Capango, right back Josh Key, centre midfielders of Matt Grimes and Gonchalo Franco. Attacking midfielder, we got Ollie Cooper, left wing Yonchison, right wing Ronald and striker Liam Cullen. Also, Joe Allen is back within the squad as well, he's on the bench. And yeah. Hopefully now we can perform like we did against Preston North End and get another victory. I really hope we can get a victory against them. I mean, it's, as I was saying earlier, it's really early to predict what will happen. But as long as we avoid defeat, I'll be fine. As I was saying earlier, Swans, don't let me down today. Come on. Bishop G, um, what do you reckon today then? Uh, I'm nervous but excited. I don't want to be too optimistic. But yeah, it's really early in the season. Course, yeah. I don't know which way it's going to go with myself, to be honest. Yeah, I, I'm the same, but you know, you've got to be optimistic, well, you've got to be confident. Right? To be Definitely. Down, you know, especially if you've got a good form against them. So, uh, two minutes once, wrong with the back runs. Yeah, let's hope so. Hopefully it'll be a third 2-0 win in a row, innit? Yeah, if that it'll happens. Be a win, yes, so, yeah. But yeah, I think it's to see what happens if I'm honest. Yeah. Cheers. So it's half time, Swans not going to save in the South West Derby. Swans City won Cardiff City nil after a Liam Cullen goal. We've played pretty well so far, I've got to say. Cardiff, um, they haven't really threatened at all just yet. Wilfred Kanga had a shot, but he was way off target. But again, there's another 45 minutes to go, which is a long way to hold on. And for me, I think we need to look again a second goal. I think we need to go more 2 0 up other than 2 1 up because if Cardiff get an equaliser, then it might show a sign of trouble what will happen but even if we draw it wouldn't really hurt me necessarily but we need to get our second goal if we are to be outside or even a third goal because Cardiff got plenty of game changers on bench as well like um, Callum Robinson, Oli Tanner, um, Alaba El Ghazi as well, Ruben Colwell they got a lot of good options on the bench as well so do we as well with Florian Bianchini, Nelson Abbey who just signed recently there on the bench as well, Zan Vipotnik and even Joe Allen as well, who came back from injury. 
But other than that, I think I'm going to keep my mouth shut until the final whistle at least. Come on, same from the first half, please. Robinson, who had a red card against us once, and his goal past us. Oh, God. Hey. Uh, come on, out we go. Says equalise, we have fallen apart. Oh, God, no. Oh. Three minutes left, this is, I don't know how much I can watch, to be honest. Let's kick it off here a bit. Between Errol Bullet and Paul Norton. I think the Bengals are getting involved as well. Errol Bullet looks like he's having none of it here in the minute. Mm -hmm. Interesting stuff here. And looks like the situation is cleared. So the brawl engine's been booked and Harry Darwin has been booked. And I reckon if um, Horvath kicks it, this should be game. Also another booking as well, I think Matt Grimes has been booked too. But yeah, this has to be the game. We'll take that. So there we go guys, it's finished Swansea 1, Cardiff City 1 in the South Wales Derby. To be honest with you, i take that result any day of the week. It's better than a loss. I mean, such a shame we didn't win really. As much as I want us to win badly... I take that result anyway. We'll draw. I can deal with that. I mean, first half, we were quality. Liam Cullen bagging in another goal against them in the South Wales derby. And like, he, he loves the South Wales derby goal, more Liam Cullen. So I definitely play him in other South Wales derbies as well. Probably start him if I'm also be. But then, second half, after a very good first half performance, we just sat back a bit and we were asking for a bit of trouble, weren't we? And then Callum Robinson, having got sent off against us a few seasons ago down to Swansea Dockham Stadium. He had his redemption today by equalising and cancelling out a victory. The main thing is, as I was saying, we didn't lose. And at least they can't hit the double on us. And their wait for the double on us continues. So, anyway guys, West Brom will be away next weekend. Which I am going to. It'll be my fifth time up the Hawthorns. And then, the next time we're back down towards the Stockholm City, will be three weeks' time. Because the international, break is in the international break is in between. And we play Norwich City. So, if you want to see more content, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on notifications. And, yeah, I take that result any day of the week. Peace.